my channel. My name is Megan and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a pixie slash fairy look, whatever you want to call it. Um, <laughs> it's going to be more of like a butterfly effect going on because, I mean, you'll, you'll, you'll just see. Um, <laughs> I got this from Dan's Creations. Creation? With an underscore? I don't remember if it was creations or creation but I'll put her uh, the name right here and the link to her Instagram in the description below um yeah so basically to begin with what I have already done is very 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 terribly like terribly covered my eyebrows um and just put some foundation and concealer on and I was going to fix my hair, if I'm going to be honest with you, I just woke up and I could not be bothered. <laughs> so, I mean, you can do your hair however the heck you want to do your hair. I'm leaving mine in its full f frizziness. So, <laughs> let's get started. Begin with, I'm going to be taking my Mayron Paradise AQ palette and going in with this dark purple and mm, I'm thinking this dark blue right here and I'm not gonna mix them the purple is gonna go across my forehead and then I'm gonna start bringing the blue down like over my eyebrows and stuff a little bit okay taking just a cheapo sponge I'm wetting my paint not the sponge the sponge is dry and then I'm dipping in to the paint with the sponge and then just you know start patting it on there Taking, <laughs> taking the pink shade in the palette, I'm going to bring it down all right here in the middle of my forehead. I'm going to be taking the light blue shade and the light green shade, and I'm going to take the light blue shade and kind of go all the way around here and then the green is going to go in the cheekbone area. Taking the pink shade again and a little bit of the yellow, the light yellow, I'm going to maybe do like the pink here and some yellow here. that look the base of the butterfly is done here comes the more difficult part I'm going to be taking the black paint and my Mayron palette and outlining mm, the, the stuff on my neck and chest area is going to be more outlined than this I'm going to do like little circular oval designs on all of this on my face you know, kind of like a butterfly wing, how a butterfly wing is. Thank you. 
So now that the pretty much difficult part is over with, I'm going to pop in my contacts and I'll be right back. Making the James Charles palette, I'm going to be taking the deeper purple shade and just kind of slapping it on there. Like, <laughs> it doesn't really matter if it's blended or not because, oh god, I have that on that. Because, um, I'm going to outline it in black with the black paint anyway, so... This turquoise shade in the James Charles palette, I'm in literally so much paint from this eye. Like, oh my god. Anyway, taking that shade, I'm going to put it on my nose. Back in with the Mayron palette. I'm going to take the black shade again. And go where the eyeshadow is on my eyes over top of it. Taking some liquid eyeliner, I'm going to do a wing and then I'm going to take some gel eyeliner and fill in this this space right here under my eyes. Okay, so now that that is done and I look like a butterfly raccoon, I'm going to do some mascara and put on some eyelashes and I'll be right back. So now that I got these huge eyelashes on to hide all my mistakes I've made, I'm going to be taking this, I've already opened it, it's the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade, what is this, Suspiria, and I'm putting this on my top lip and then I'm taking, yet again, Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick Ooh. in the shade K-Dub and this is going to go on my bottom lip. <music> to take the white paint in my Mayroll, Mar okay. I'm going to be taking the white paint in um, my Mayroll palette and do white dots kind of everywhere where all this black is oh shoot okay also i totally forgot <laughs> um this on my chest here i'm going to be doing a few lines where just in the middle of each i don't know wing petal whatever you want to call this okay same thing on all of this because I'm running out of actually recording time so I'm gonna cut and do that now that I got I don't know something going on here I'm going to outline my lips with the black paint and then do some lines and then some little white dots around those maybe kind of made them look like lines but whatever that's fine um now i'm going to take my elf ears and take a little bit of um i think you could either use blush or but i think i'm going to take some pink eyeshadow and kind of brush it on the tips to make them look flushed a little i'm going to put them on my ears <laughs> okay i'm back i got my hair cinched back because <laughs> it's uh it's just totally in my way, so I just kind of 
popped it back there. Actually, hold up one second. Okay, so I'm back with something. <laughs> uh, I decided to put in this little flower here just because I felt like it. Um, doesn't really match what I got going on, but you know what? That's fine. Um, so this is the final look. Uh, I did go ahead and take some highlighter. I used the BH Cosmetics Blacklight Highlighter in the shade Strobe, I think. And I just kind of slightly, trying not to get it on my black paint, went over it there. Um, on my cheeks and here and here and the, my nose here. I got it a little bit on this paint, but you know what, that's fine. Um, so, y'all, yeah, this is it. I'm leaving my hair clipped back because it's just totally in my way um but yes this is the final look let me zoom out a little there we go that's good um i hope you enjoyed i think this may be my one of my favorite ones that i've done it's not the best there's a lot of flaws with it hopefully you know i can keep getting better at doing my makeup on camera yeah, I'm going to go because I'm running out of recording time. And, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.